Hello. This video will discuss about the zodiac sign of Pisces or Mina as it is called in Sanskrit. In our earlier videos, we did discuss about the zodiac signs of Aries through Aquarius and the zodiac sign of Pisces, which is this video, is 12th in the series and it is going to be ending this series on the zodiac signs. So what does Mina mean in Sanskrit? As per the Sanskrit dictionary, Mina means a fish. And the purpose of these videos is to make sure that we go into the basics and we see what the scriptures, the ancient scriptures on Vedic astrology have been discussing about that ancient art or it's an ancient science rather and what the great sages have been talking about Vedic astrology and we need to understand the knowledge they have given us thousands of years ago and more importantly because there are a lot of so-called Vedic astrologers in today's world who mix Western astrology with Vedic astrology and they come up with their own mixture of astrology which is presented as Vedic astrology but that is not true so we have to go into the basics so anyways let's talk about Pisces zodiac sign today and as it is called Mina in Sanskrit as per what the great sage Parashara has mentioned in his teachings and his teachings have been compiled in Brihat Parashara Hora Shastra which is also commonly referred as BPHS. So Sage Parashara has mentioned about the zodiac sign of Pisces is they are generally short as far as their height is concerned and they are slightly plumpish and the hands are kind of short they are not longish and it makes more sense because if you look at the zodiac sign of Pisces it is ruled by Jupiter and Jupiter is kind of slightly plumpish and it is ruled by the, the guna or if you say as per Ayurvedic a dosha of a kapha dosha and we'll, we can discuss about these doshas which is kapha, pitta and vata in another video but for people who understand a little bit of Ayurveda people with kapha dosha or people with a prakriti of kasha, kapha generally are plumpish so that is a trait which is related to kapha and of course as a planet Jupiter also can be related to the kapha dosha or a kapha constitution per se it's not a dosha but in general terms kapha pitta and vata are termed as doshas but they are actually the characteristics of related with those those type of people and also as we know that the zodiac sign of Pisces or Mina is the natural ruler of the 12th house in a Vedic chart so the significations of the 12th house are very closely associated with the zodiac sign of Pisces and also the, since the ruler is Jupiter the significations of Jupiter as a planet will also be related to the zodiac sign of Pisces so going back to Sage Parashara he has mentioned that people with the zodiac sign of Pisces or Mina are generally short in height but they are plump with short hands and short 
legs and more or less related with the Kafa Prakriti. Also, he has mentioned that by nature, they are a little restless and they are kind of philosophical towards life. They may not be very, very practical people. So look out for the ascendant of the people with the ascendant of Pisces or Mina and you will find more or less that these people are very philosophical and philosophical and less practical and when we talk about people with the zodiac sign of Pisces or Mina we generally do not just mean the ascendant we also will consider the moon sign or the Rashi where the moon is placed and if the moon is placed in Pisces that becomes its Rashi or moon sign and you have to look at both the ascendant and the moon sign moon being the closest to the earth and therefore the impact moon the moon sign per se is is very very strong and cannot be ignored so Parashara says that these people are philosophical less practical however full of imagination and also a little romantic as well so people with the ascendant or moon sign of Pisces will be a little more romantic they like romantic lifestyle per se because of their imaginative skills I'm assuming very honest people again Parashara Sage Parashara confirms that these people are extremely honest and very very helpful towards the other they'll go out of their way to help other people that's just the nature of this zodiac sign just because it makes a lot of sense because it is ruled by Jupiter and Jupiter is an extremely sattvic planet and sattva is related sattva as a guna as we have discussed in our earlier videos about the gunas sat sattvic guna rajasic guna and tamasic guna sattvic guna is one guna which is associated with this Rashi and the ruler of this Rashi which is Jupiter and goes out of their out of their way to help other people very very helpful and kind and humane <clears throat> so that's another nature at which has been mentioned by Sage Parashara and sometimes Sage Parashara says that on account of being too generous or over nice or too kind or too liberal they go go out of their way and 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 they kind of extend themselves too much in their in that direction as a result of which they forget about their own own progress and they become selfless so sometimes a little selfishness may be important but no these people actually at the cost of their own progress will go out of their way and help people be generous be kind be humane be philosophical imaginative romantic so kind of very I wouldn't say laid back but you know very philosophical towards life not very practical or mean or selfish it's just the opposite way that's how they are and they are extremely happy Sage Parashara also confirms that they are extremely happy when they spend their money towards any kind of charity or any kind of activity which is related to religious activities so they will they love it they actually enjoy spending the money towards that direction if they can spend money to help somebody that's their sense of enjoyment that's where they their sense of enjoyment comes another neg uh, well I wouldn't call this a negative but there's a negative another negative trait which Sage Parashara mentions about about the zodiac sign of Pisces or Mina as an ascendant or like I said we have to consider the moon sign as well these people are a little unsteady in life they they jump around between their professions so they're not 
not very focused and very steady and if they don't like a profession they'll just make a quick change so like I said I wouldn't call that extremely negative but yes in a way it is negative because if you're focused you'll keep moving towards one direction and finally reach your goal but these people because of their unsteady unsteady nature they would just give up and then move on to another profession and or another direction so yes it may be considered slightly negative but that's what Sage Barashwa has described and you will confirm this once you see a person with the ascendant of Pisces or Mina or even the moon sign you will see that that that's a very very common trait amongst these people as far as the marriage life of the zodiac sign of Mina or Pisces as an ascendant or as a moon sign is concerned they are generally very happy because it makes a lot of sense if you see these people are kind generous and they like to help others so it makes a lot of sense again because they they would they would be good spouses they would be giving they would not like to be selfish so even astrologically Sage Parashra says we did discuss about the practical aspect that since because these people are giving it'll it'll give them a happy married life but even astrologically Sage Parashra has has mentioned that these people will have generally these people generally will have a happy married life another negative trait which Sage Parashra mentions about the zodiac sign of Pisces as an ascendant or as a moon sign is they are jealous well that's one major negative point I mean that's very very different from all the other positives with people of Pisces ascendant or the Rashi or moon sign of Pisces is concerned this is one major negative and and being jealous is not good at all but that's what they are that's what the sage Parashra has described them so this is a little discussion about what the zodiac sign of Pisces or the moon sign of Pisces is as per what sage Parashra has mentioned also sage Parashra did mention that the sign associated with the zodiac sign of Pisces is a pair of fish that's as per sage Parashra a pair of fish and not just a pair of fish but a pair of fish where you'll see a tail of a fish along with the head of another fish so it's kind of inverse if you see and you'll see that on the screen that the head of one fish is towards the tail of another fish so that's what exactly what sage Parashra has described as a symbol of this zodiac sign of Pisces or Mina also says sage Parashra says that this Rashi or zodiac sign is strong during night time so when he says strong during night time what do you understand you understand that yes these people like to be more energetic at energetic or more active during night time so this is what he means during the daytime they may not be be very active or their preference is the night time so they may like to enjoy nightlife or they may like to work during night hours but you will see if you see the charts if you see ascendance of Pisces or the moon sign of Pisces you will see that that tendency more active more energetic towards the night time and that's what has been mentioned by the great sage Parashara which has co been compiled in Brihat Parashara Hora Shastra also it is a water sign or a zodiac sign which is related to water or a water related Rashi and I'd like to draw your attention towards another zodiac sign which is the sign of Sagittarius which is also ruled by Jupiter now both these signs Jupiter and 
I'm sorry, both these signs, Pisces and Sagittarius, are ruled by Jupiter. However, the sign of Sagittarius is fiery. However, the sign of Pisces is watery. So that's one major difference here. Although the ruler of both these signs is Jupiter. So we have to remember. So Sage Parashra has clearly explained that this is a watery sign. It is related to water or the Rashi is related to water. And also it likes water around it because it lives in the water. It resorts in water as per Sage Parashra. Now, when we say it lives in the water, that doesn't mean that people with the ascendant of Pisces or the moon sign of Pisces or Mina will go and live underwater. No, but you will see a very particular trait where you'll see their residences maybe their residences will have a waterfall or maybe it'll have a, a pool or maybe they'll be living near a pond or or a lake so they will like to have water around their residences or their surroundings they're fond of water as far as their their body structure is concerned sage parashra has mentioned earlier he has mentioned that yes they have short hands and short legs and a little plumpish in another place as far as the stature is and generally he has earlier mentioned that they are short but in another place he has mentioned that they are average built so you can imagine a person with with the ascendant or the moon sign of of pisces or mina as somebody with medium medium built and slightly short is short sh slightly short in in height also a little plumpish with hands and legs which are not too long kind of shortish and uh, this is the kind of an image you will find with people with the ascendant of Pisces or the moon sign of Pisces or Mina the direction associated with this Rashi or zodiac sign of Pisces or Mina is north so they like to move or live towards the northern direction you will see a, a tendency of these people uh, towards the northern direction and that has been mentioned by sage parashra so this was the discussion about the zodiac sign of pisces or mina as it is called in sanskrit and we'll be taking up another topic in our next video thank you